So today uh, I got my new Knock Monitor Pro from uh, Tuner Nerd. So I figure it'd be a good time to check my tune. It's been pretty safe and it's felt like it hasn't had any knock or anything, but now I can actually check it. So today what I'm gonna do is uh, see how my tune's doing, uh, set my thresholds on Tuner Nerd's Knock Monitor and check how I can improve it. If I have any knock where I need to pull timing, and if not, I think I'm going to turn up the boost a little bit and see if I can get some new dyno plots. Anyways, yeah, just letting the car warm up now, and then uh, once it's warm, we'll get on the road. Come on, warm up, baby. Here's Tuner Nerd. Kind of see how it works. So this is your threshold here, and this is like the background noise of your motor and everything, and it's filtered and set for my bore diameter so then once you go and do a pull um, it'll come through oops let me replay it you can see that that trace is down there and that's going to show as you do a pull I was just getting into third gear there second gear and then as you do a pull it goes up the amplitude increases and with the rpm and then if you get anything that goes above your threshold line then that's considered knock but as you can see on the waveform doesn't really look like I have any knock going on but one thing that I was concerned about was down here these little spikes but they are pretty even so I don't think it's anything to worry about but up here I might have had a little I don't think so but that's what testing is all for okay so you can see it's listening right now down in the bottom there's my rpm and then if I look over on tuner studio you can see it's spot on with that since this is using the injector it's on batch fire it kind of scales your rpm for you and as i give it a rev you can see that that orange line moves as well as the threshold on that side so as i get into it it'll start picking it up so now that the car's warming up good let's go get on the road okay, so i just did a second gear pull you can see how this looks Doesn't look like I had any knock there, so that's good. Um, I'm still concerned about those little spikes, just slightly. Maybe that's just background noise, but I swear I hear a little rattle. Um, I'm gonna check on it though. So let me clear this recording and show you how it comes through as you do a pull. This is second gear. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna save this. Uh, threshold and then set a new one off of that last pull and then take a look at the data log and see what it looks like. So I turned up my uh, 3000 to 5800 boost duty by 2% and let's see this is third gear so at 2700 rpm and then boom let's see what was I hitting there's 8 psi 11 psi 12 psi and that's at 3500 it holds 12 and then i go 14 13.2 13.6 um what was my throttle position 83 yeah so i was hitting 14 psi most of that pull and let's take a look and it looks like i did get a little bit of knock if i look over here <clears throat> right at 3000 as I was crossing into boost so it looks like 3000 rpm and let's go back to 3000 rpm so 3000 rpm and 5.8 psi which was 129 kpa I'm gonna pull a little timing and then do that pull again and hopefully that should clean that up okay here we go I'm gonna test it again some more pulls and as you can see right there that looks like knock to me maybe even right there a little but uh, let me play it through you probably can't even hear it but oops guess it wasn't recording I don't know how much I missed but at 180 180 kPa on 5700 rpm no get out of here boom um, I had a little knock right there because you can notice that that one's way higher and there was a little spike on it and I could hear it so 
I figured, okay, I'll turn it down a little. So what I did was I lowered my timing right here one degree, and then that was the last run. I bumped that one down as well. So hopefully that will take care of that little spot. And then I'm gonna try and get a little bit more mid-range boost out of it. Okay, so that was 14.5 PSI there. And if we look at the trays, see everything's looking good. Got rid of those little pops up in the top end and it looks like that's pretty nice. So I think what I'm gonna do now is come back over. Uh, one thing that I didn't show was I added fuel right here because I heard a little misfire on the motor itself and then when I was looking at my duty cycle, it was a little weird and like bounced. So I added a little there and then I'm gonna let it auto-tune these upper cells because I'm gonna try and go up to um, 15, 16 PSI. But I figure I'll leave this rich up on top and then I'll let the auto-tune dial it back if it needs to at all. Um, it's not the best way to do it, but I know it's gonna be pig rich up there anyways, and I figure richer is better than leaner when I'm adding boost. Looking at here, where have we at? Advance, I was at 13 degrees, yada yada, ramping up to 15 or so at the top end so I just added two degrees back into my top end and I'm gonna see if I can't get a little bit more power out of it um, hopefully I don't get any knock if I do may richen it up or just kind of pull that back out and add more boost let's take a look at this there you go that's what knock looks like I don't know if you could hear it or not because the audio on this is kind of trash let me play this again see if I can get closer to the speaker So that was knock right there, uh, so it looks like I'll pull out a little timing in that range. Looking at the log, you can see right here that I wasn't very lean. It was running good before that, um, so looking at the timing, I was at 15 degrees there, so it looks like it may like 13, because that's where I had that little knock event, which is clear as day. Um, so what I'm going to do now is come back into here and right at that range, lower the timing just slightly, and I'll burn that in, and now I'll do another pull, and hopefully that should be good, and we'll see how it does. Okay, so as you can see, I had a little knock as I was building boost right here, right at 4,000 RPM, and it was a 184 KPA. So what I did was, let me get back over to my spark table, so right at 4,000 RPM right here, I dropped the timing down just so that I can get that back a little bit closer. So hopefully it will be okay. Okay, so that was a nice clean run there. Um, it went up to just about 16 PSI. Um, I didn't have any knock on that one. It was a nice clean run it felt like. So then I can look back at the trace. That actually looks good. All right, here we go. That looked healthy. That was looking good. So I'm gonna do another pull uphill and see how it does uh, going uphill. But I think it's like in that timing there. Get into third. I'll start listening in right now. Oh, she was clean. Clean all the way through. Back at that trace. That is what I'm looking for right there. That was a clean pool. Okay. So that looked nice. Let's take a look at the data log though. Do, do, do. Oh, really? Why'd you close on me? Documents, mm, Tuner Studio, Base Tune, Data Logs. Where'd 
Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? There we are. Okay, now let's see what we did on that. Looks like <clears throat> by 3,500 RPM, we were already at 12 and a half pounds, and that was going up to 15 there, 16. Looks like 15 and a half pounds right where I want it. And let's see, AFR is a little lean up on the top end, actually. Where was that? I'll adjust that by hand, though. At 11.6 when I was targeting 11.0. So I'll add just a touch of fuel. Advance was 14 degrees at peak boost, ramping up to 17, 16 by red line. And I had no knock, so that, that is what I'm looking for. Coming up on that 16 PSI area, boy. And best part, no knock. Looking good. Clean trace, everything looks nice.